All right, back to the Mopars. Got a Roadrunner. Oh, look, you got some, got some bird seed out for it. <laughs> I like how you did the rust on here. Took the rust holes that were in the tailgate and then left them. <laughs> and then did artwork with it. Might as well. I mean, tailgates are always rusty, huh? <laughs> Save some money from buying a from buying a new tailgate, I guess. It's unique. It's interesting. It's creative. I like that. <laughs> AMC Club. Of Houston, so these javelin and yeah. AMXs, I think, are sweet. Oh, they're cool. You don't see a lot of them, especially uh, on the street or yeah. at cruise nights. So you might see one every now and then. Eye catcher, all AMCs mm -hmm. are. Yeah, they're cool. I like these. Let's go. Doing well. Base models had four wheel drive. Did the optional without two wheel drive, or optional without four wheel drive. You wanted two wheel drive. Yeah. Javelin. My cousin had one of these. It was like a root beer brown. I think it had black interior. Back in the 90s, took me a car sh or a cruise night up in Michigan, and man, that thing was clean. Sounded good, too. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good looking Their car. It was a, I don't know if it was the exact same that. years that, but it was the same style as that. The engines and AMCs are incredibly underrated. They sound amazing. Yeah. It's a nice color on this one. USC Rambo, this Rambo. It's cool. I like AMX. This is the car that they Trans Am I like that. Nash. Nash Rambler. Hold down seats. The one thing I like about the AMCs is because they don't really sell a lot of they reproduction parts machine. for them. Yeah, it's called a machine. Because they don't sell a lot of reproduction parts for AMCs like they do Ford and Chevys and yeah. all that. The cool thing is most of them are pretty well original unrestored yeah. cars. Touched up usually, but not fully restored. So Paris custom car. Okay, I was going to say, I've not seen anything That's like this. That's why I was this. coming over to see it, because I knew it was unusual. That is unusual. Well, what was it, an Oldsmobile? Looks like it was originally maybe an Oldsmobile Tornado or something. I was thinking, yeah. Tornado, yeah. Front wheel drive. Well, yeah. In some ways, it looks like it would be a factory original car or a factory concept. Yeah. Because he made it look like it, like it would have been an original car. It doesn't like, like it doesn't look like a heavily Mirror customized seat. car. Yeah. yeah, it just looks like a concept car or something for the most part. It's quite interesting. Oh wow, that is an interesting interior. That is really cool. Let's see if I can. Very interesting. Very interesting. A lot of attention around it as you'd expect. Wow. It's made to celebrate Canada's 100th centennial. That's cool. That was a nice little Trino Sport. What's that, Keegan? Nothing. Richard Petty autograph. Oh yeah. When Carol Shelby was alive, you go to car shows stuff he'd be at, and you get him to people would take in their glove box doors or um, sun visors, and Carol Shelby would sign them too. Crosby Texas. I've been there a few times. Yeah. Thought it'd be cool to get one of these uh, to go camping when y'all were little, but your mom was like, no, it wasn't hot on the idea. <laughs> Now she kind of would like to get one, but it's like, well, we don't have money to burn anymore. But yeah, and you are so little, we wouldn't fit in here. When you were little kids, we could all fit in here. But now you are so big, I don't think any of us would I, I always think that fit in there. Yeah. But they're still cool. I guess we can always get one when we're retired. It's just her and me. Yeah. But that's cool. Really cool. I like it in Nepal. We had friends that had one of these back in the late 80s, early 90s. I remember because it would pop up. I always thought it was a neat, but that was back when it was just 10, 15 year old vehicle. Got a good looking 70 GTO, black. It's nice. Cool GMC. 
A lot of 67 72s this show. They are always well represented. Some of them pretty standard, some of them really wild. I haven't seen any that are really, really impressive uh, over the top. But I'm sure there's, there's plenty of them back in there. I see some sure are coming. But they're all very nice. Do it, Roadmaster, huh? Yeah, late 30s cars are always slick. I like the Art Deco design they had back then. I like the trunk batch, trunk back, notch backs, whatever they called them. I like those. These big old long quarter ones are really cool. Yep. No. They might later on from the show, or maybe they did earlier. Like this. It's working this one. Good looking truck. That lights are pretty cool how they get it to. Oh, uh, yeah. See? I like it. Seventy Camaro, yeah. You just don't see a lot of them. You don't see a lot of seventy Camaros. He's like a very popular tattoo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. At least around here, you just don't ever see a lot of the seventy, seventy ones, the early seventies Camaros. You should never see them. Golf cart, okay. Ford Mustang. I had a friend in college, he had a square body, or square body, he had a fox body. Uh, it was green, but it looked a lot like it didn't have that in the back, but he raced it a lot. It was fast. It had the roll cage and everything in there. It was a daily driver. The thing was so hot, I don't know how he drove it, but yeah, it was the style. Yeah. yeah, I think he had a Packard though, but yeah. Pretty original looking. 602. Original little Camaro. not big on the chrome but I don't know something about that one I like it shark I like the big boy <laughs> six cylinder Mustang seems six cylinder Camaro and six cylinder Mustang that's cool it's got the sample plate over there too Shark. Oh man, I gotta show this thing. I don't wanna go past this not film, but I like that. Early 30s. This is 34. Chevy pickup. Oh, it's, it's pretty. Really dark blue. I don't know if it's gonna look blue or black on camera, but it's like a really dark blue. You can see where the fender crack, I think. Every year you kind of see the same cars year after year, and there are some I've seen there last few years but there's a lot of cars i don't really recognize so um so i can get a fresh crop of cars because i know for a few years there was the same cars just every year about three four five years i remember back when we first started coming to autorama back in uh the 90s we came to an autorama back when i saw the auction it was over at the astrodome complex and there was a 55 through 7 style chevy truck and it was just kind of this light blue with flames and it was about this shape it was nice maybe not quite this nice and i remember they sold it through the auction i thought at the time like man what a ugly paint job it sold for four grand but now you think back it's like it would have been a steal you know fixed up look at how he did the steering board the... oh yeah Oof. could use a man yeah head. you got to get creative sometimes it's got like a little a, metal flake in it. Yeah, the Well, it looked like a, maybe a late 80s manifold. I don't know. Yeah, you can see the little metal flake. metal flake in there. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah, this is my style. I love the 30s. This 38 Chevy trucks are really nice. I love the, I, I don't know, I've seen them books where they call them jukebox style grill. I don't know, but I love that style grill. These are nice. This one actually is kind of customized. You wouldn't think at first you think it looks original. And then you look inside, you can see it's got air conditioning and obviously custom interior, but this is very nice. Very nice truck. This Lincoln is cool. That's cool. Kind of similar to the other one over there. Mita Soto. Soto. I'm trying to learn Spanish. I don't know what Mita Soto means. Highway Horrors. I like the board. Yeah, it's cool. 59 four door hardtop is cool. Back around, so I think yeah. Pretty little 39 Chevy. Speaking of two door Tahoes, another one. The interior looks pretty original in this one. It says for sale. For sale. No price though. Yeah, for the longest time I wanted one. It's still cool. I think they're claiming that this 57 is all original. The interior certainly looks original. And the engine bay looks quite original, but uh, I don't know that paint's so shiny. I would think it's been had a recoat. The chrome is fairly original too. Yeah, some, what are those for? Drift. They do drift in here? Drift in here. Oh, that, about that one, I don't think. Yeah. That's in behind it. Yeah. They could, but I don't know if they want them smoking up tires and everything indoors. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe going to in put their spot. Yeah, maybe they're just getting them ready to bring in here. I don't know. But I mean, the show started yesterday, so you think all the cars that are coming are here? No, the, the that's the tuner wow. gallery. It's only open Saturday. I don't no, know. Y'all right thought I wanted okay. to go two days in a row. Pretty steps that's up. That's what I said. I thought you wanted to go two days in a row. Sixty-seven again. You want to go Saturday? Yeah, third or fourth. Uh, small window out here. I love this. Yeah, the Pontiac's cool. I always like the chrome on those. Be selling some. We got some motorcycles over here. They got old choppers. Old choppers, huh? one down in our part of the state poor man's fury yeah we've seen this one uh not in the town next to our town so he must live for fairly close to us i like this one this one's nice you might like more yeah i like the color on that it's cool We're at the factory buckets. That's very well done. That's my style where they're mostly original looking, a little bit of customization. That's my style. Very nice. Probably my probably my favorite square body I've seen here so far. This is also my style. I like the color. 
looking at my GoPro screen, it's looking different in my screen than it looks in person. So I'm not sure how it's gonna look on camera when it's on YouTube, but in person, it's a really sharp color on that. Tell this is a. I think some of that truck is original patina, and some looks like fake patina. This is. It's a high-end car here. Lincoln Continental, forty-one. Yeah. So. Wow. We got pulled out. I guess like a yeah. ashtray. Lincoln Continentals from nineteen thirty-nine and before had handmade fenders. Really. Long hand fenders would have been uh, handmade if it was a uh, it looks driver. all original but that steering column is 70s so must have some customization done underneath the hood it's a, yeah it's got an ls it's got an ls in it a cord with an ls wow now my uncle all right. i think got a gram body and put a cord front end i don't know if he ever finished that project or not so i'm assuming it's cord but you never know if they customize it could have been a gram with the cord hey Doing well. It's really nice. Very nice. He's saying 36 cord 810, so hey. Entrance. We've got to get this in the middle. Nice old Cadillac. Yeah. Now this is uh that's a lot of work in that thing. Damn. This too, the big old dually. Big old dually. Pull cool little Dodge. Same thing here. I like a little baby's got a little mustache. It's cool. And that paint job and body work on that is about flawless. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, a little water burger. It's crazy. The truck's nice. C10s are definitely well represented here. I want to say there's more 80s and 90s ones than there have been, but it's hard to say. Hey, this old C10 here is nice. Yeah, I'm going to go It's pretty. Beautiful color. We did a truck about that style. We did the interior, I think, around this color. It's pretty. Another crew cab truck, this time not a dually. DLS. I get a window unit in there. Oh, he's got a military tag on his car. He's got the Vietnam veteran with the military tag. I wonder if he had, I wonder if he bought it back in the day. I like the old Galveston dealership. That's cool. Oh man. Excellent. 
<laughs> That's nice. 71Z. Very nice. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like when they have something besides small block Chevy. Yeah. I like to see a Wolfman Jack oh, that's cool. sticker. Like the roof. That's cool. Get in the bed too. Taller than you. It's almost taller than you. Extensive, isn't that the guy? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, extensive. Extensive. Yeah, he's the one that he does. Built this one on, on the... Oh, you built this one on the show? This one's a pretty extensive build, I would say. Yeah, extensive custom garage out of Houston. Yeah, they had it on the show. Doesn't have any of the information on there though. I like that one. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. You just love. All you need is love. The dip goes cool. That's <laughs> a cool truck. Yeah, that's, that's really neat. They came in glass bottles. They put them in the milk chute. That's cool. Your dream truck. One of the dream trucks. I Peterbilt. Have. <laughs> it's a cool looking little Chevy. I drive it. I've seen Lowrider Bel Airs and uh, obviously Impalas. I don't know if I've seen a 57 convertible one. Yeah, no, I've oh, seen a 57 convertible. It's Whether you, or not you like the Lowriders, usually these are the ones that have the best quality work in them. Yeah. I can respect the work that goes into these. They're really cool. Yeah. I like this green on green, that is really nice. You gotta appreciate the work. Yeah. That green on green is really slick. It looks like guacamole sauce. That's really cool. It's making me hungry. I just like seeing the colors that are different from what you normally see. Hugo, Oklahoma. Hey. Daddy, see the Phantom on it? Yeah, it's neat. I like this 38 Chevy. <laughs> yeah, this Impala's. Really nice. That's a very nice car right there. I like that. 
let's see, in Bel Air. It's really nice. I don't know, is that like a sound many uh, things like you see on 55 sometimes? That's a little different. It's a Ford low rider. You don't see a lot of Ford low riders, or I don't see a lot of Ford low riders. Do the highlights. Panel van. Torque. Yeah. That's cool. Car seats. Yeah, the old school car seat. It looks safe. Thanks for watching. That pretty much wraps up Houston Auto in 2022. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. All right, we'll see you at the next one, guys. Have a good one.